What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Hey right, guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking about this video and about these lights and if I could do one for you guys. So here it is. Today's the day we're going to be installing these lights. Uh, I got these off Amazon. I'll put this and I'll put them in the links in the description below where I got them. And for whatever reason, it says it doesn't fit the 2019. Uh, mine is a 2019. So we're going to find out if it does or it does not fit. I don't see why not because it has the same bumper as all the other uh, Highlanders with the same body style. Um, I do recommend you guys removing the bumper only because it makes the job a lot easier and it's less likely for you guys to damage the paint on your car and on the bumper uh, by having like the bumper hang halfway off. Um, and that way, you know, guys, you guys are not struggling and trying to figure out how the lamp actually goes on. So I recommend you guys take the bumper off completely. I'm going to show you guys uh, step by step on how to do that. If you've never done one before, uh, don't worry. It's actually pretty simple um, and you need very minimal tools. I'll show you the tools that you need as well. I do recommend you guys having a second set of hands to remove and install the bumper due to the fact that if you've never done one, uh, you can also damage the bumper that way as well. Um, but besides that, guys, I'm going to show you guys all the steps. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below and I will answer them for you guys. But yeah, let's get right to it. So, all right, guys, so here are the tools that you're going to need in order to do this job. And um, it's quite a bit of work. You're going to have to remove the bumper in order to put these lights in. Um, but the tools you need are going to be some trim popping tools. These pliers here are really handy. Um, and all these tools I'll put in the links in the description below on where I got these. Uh, you need a flathead screwdriver. You're going to need a hex four millimeter socket, uh, a ratchet, some pliers, some wire super pliers, um, and these T type our T-tap uh, connectors come in really handy. Uh, these are, I recommend you guys getting these. I got these off Amazon. I think I paid like eight bucks for these. Uh, some electrical tape. And this test light here comes in really handy uh, if you have run into any kind of uh, electrical problems. This one I got off Amazon as well. It was pretty cheap. I think I paid like 10 bucks. Um, really handy. And a 10 millimeter socket uh, with or without a power tool, which uh, comes in handy. Uh, these are the tools you're definitely going to need in order to do this job. Up, and these are the, uh, the lights you get. So you get two lights, um, the wire harness, and a little module, and then the ends. And the only instructions you get are the wiring instructions. That is it. So the rest is... It's up to you, or in this case, up to me. I want to show you guys step-by-step uh, step on what to do. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple. Like I said, this is a 19 Limited. It does have the mud flaps. Um, I'm not... I may just take off one tire to kind of show you guys how to remove um, this trim panel here. Because it's, it's pretty crucial that you guys get this off before you remove the bumper. Because if not, you may damage this flare here. Um, that holds the bumper in place. So let me do that. Let me just take off a wheel to kind of show you guys uh, a better view. You see these tabs right here guys? These tabs, you need to push these in and pull this out. See, push this in, pull this out. Push this in, pull this out. And now we can pull this off a little bit more. Now we have access to their bumper. Come over here, you can grab their bumper here. Reach in here, grab the bumper and pull it towards you. Like this. That'll loosen this up.
this side, if you guys have parking sensors, there's gonna be a connector on the inside that we need to disconnect. Pull this out. And now, go ahead, pull off our bumper. Right, so I'm gonna get the bumper on the bench here. I can already tell that this is not the same as the factory one. Uh, so if I would slip this in here, it would not reach the other side. Um, but hopefully, it'll at least bolt up here and slip into one of these connectors and that should hold it in place. But we'll find out if we need to unbolt um, these two tens and then we'll slide it out of those connectors there. Off. Okay, this one just slides in here and bolts up to this one. Um, and it will, the bolt holes do line up somewhat. Um, just gotta make sure that it actually sits flush on the back side, the inside. So let's go ahead. So I'm gonna line one up first to hold it in place. And then kind of pull it towards me and try to line it up to the other hole. Uh, once you get it bolted in, we can go ahead and flip it over to see how it's gonna look on the other side. Well, it doesn't sit. It's not sitting um, how I would like it. See how the bottom uh, this is flat and it's kind of a gap right here um, Almost like it needs to Come back up more um, almost, like, almost like this housing is a little bit smaller than the plastic, um, but it's in here um, And it's flush so It doesn't look Like the factory one where it's pushed in and it's all the way around so i'm gonna see if maybe i can kind of get this to come back up a little bit more all right so after playing with it for a little bit it actually went in a little bit better um kind of have to play with this um, just make sure the screws are intact, uh, loose, and you kind of just have to move it up and down. So, um, this should be long enough. Um, these will have to go through, um, right through here. Um, I want to cut this with the razor blade and put the wires through here. Razor blade this in half, like so. All right, on the passenger side here, just cut, get a razor blade and just kind of cut a hole right here, uh, right above the connector. That way it gives you a little access point uh, to kind of put the wire through there. So we'll put this through here like this. You just have to remove this, hold this up here, 
Get all your stuff that you have out of the way. You need to pull this cover off. Pop this up. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter right there. Grab this. And you just pop it up. Out of the way. And here we can get our exit. So when you reach in here, there's gonna be a small one and a big one. This is the one you need. And you're gonna need to cut the electrical tape there. So we'll have to cut some of this back here. So now we have access to our colors. We can go ahead and figure out which one's which. Ground this off on here. And we're just gonna connect here and see what comes on. The signal light is the the yellow wire is the signal light. So now we gotta figure out its turn signal. Turn signal. And we should have Okay, it's a small, this is the smaller gauge. So we're gonna use the red ones. I'm gonna be using the red ones for the smaller gauge wire. Um, so basically what this works is, so basically you put this on like this, and you crimp it like this. This is the one you want. And you make sure it makes a solid connection. All right guys, so I'm here I'm just gonna show you guys the connectors and all the connections that I made, uh, rather than kind of try to show you guys how to do it. Um, so when you get the connector here, you're gonna have a red, blue, yellow. Um, this red one in the corner is gonna be your yellow from your passenger side um, lens. And that's gonna be the turn signal lens on the passenger side. And this blue wire here in the middle, that one is gonna be both the red wires connected and that's gonna be your brake lights. And then when we move over to the back side, on the other side, we are gonna have um, the white and black wire, that, the big one, that's gonna be our ground. So both um, connectors are gonna have Splice together into the same connector, and that's gonna be our ground. And then we're gonna have uh, the small yellow wire right here. This one is gonna be our um, parking lights. So both parking lights are gonna be the white wires connected together, and they're both gonna be this little white uh, yellow wire right here. That'll be the parking lights. So they're both uh, connected to get together to this yellow one. So our last connection is gonna be this blue wire. This is gonna be our driver's side turn signal. So that's what the yellow one will go into. So all the other ones uh, will be connected together. Um, brake lights, parking lights, and the ground wire. Minus the driver's side and passenger side turn signal. Cause if you connect them together, they're both, when you turn to the left, it'll, uh, it'll mark like a hazard instead of a individual turn signal. So you definitely want to make sure that they're individually. So, um, like I said, if you guys need help, um, these T-tabs are real easy. Um, if you guys want me to show you a demonstration of how that works, I can, um, but I just, I thought this would be the most important part is the, the wiring connecting. So once you get all these connected, you want to go ahead and electrical tape this up and store it back out of the way nice and tight under here, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zip tie this to the old, old wiring harness here.
Anyways, yeah, make sure you guys uh, tuck this away and just repeat the step to put the trim balance back on. Wow, they look great. They look amazing. Actually, I'm pretty impressed at how well they came out. Um, I was kind of skeptical at first because I've, a lot of the reviews say they don't work and they don't look good. But hey, I, I like them. They look pretty cool. And I'm definitely going to be getting second looks from other Highlander owners going down the road. They're going to be wondering why their lights don't do that. Um, and if you want yours to look just like this, the product in the links in the description below and where you can get them. I got these off Amazon. They sell different versions, but I'll put the ones that I got on in the links in the description below so you can install them the same way I did. Uh, if you have any comments, please put them in the comments below. If you have any questions or any problems with uh, when installing these, please let me know and I will try to get to you as soon as I can. Um, if you guys want to see something different to the Highlander or you guys want to see something else done to the Highlander, please let me know. Please put them in the comments below and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. And like always guys, we'll see you guys on the next one.